To get started with physics and max, the first thing we want to do is to create a jit.phys.world object. And this is going to hold all the rest of the physics objects that we create in this batch. The most basic object that we're going to add to our world is the jit.phys.body object. Body in that name stands for rigid body. So this is a rigid body in a physics simulation. The rigid body is going to live in this physics world and be acted upon by the forces in the world. We need to update the world simulation by sending it a bang and then query the position attribute of the phys body to get the current position of the rigid body in the world. We can create a metro object to bang the physics world, thereby updating the simulation at a regular rate. Once we turn it on, we can see the y position value of the rigid body change as the body falls from the origin to the floor of the world box. We can reset the body back to its default position at the origin by sending the reset message. And again, watch the y position value change as it falls to the floor. Let's visualize this y position value using a slider. First, we need to remap the value, so let's use a scale object. The input value from the rigid body will go from 0 to negative 4, which is the default position of the floor. So we're going to scale this from 127 to 0, the default maximum and minimum of the slider. Now when we reset the body, the position change is reflected in the slider. Since we've already transformed this rigid body movement into a number stream, we might as well use those numbers to make some sound. So we're going to map the y value of the rigid body to the frequency value of the sawtooth oscillator, and the x value we're going to map to the left and right panning for a stereo effect. Turn on the audio, increase the gain slider, and listen to the rigid body fall. Now let's look at a visual representation of the physics objects using the OpenGL context I have set up here. I'm going to connect the outlet of the physics world to the inlet of the GL render. This will allow the render context to update the phys world automatically. The easiest way to see our physics objects is to create a jit.gl.phys.draw object. This is basically a convenience object and will draw a very simple representation of all the objects currently in our phys world. We can very easily make a nicer representation of our physics bodies in the GL context by creating a JIT-GL grid shape object, giving it a material, and attaching it to the left outlet of the phys body, thereby allowing the rigid body to control the position and orientation of the grid shape. We can also create a JIT.phys.picker object, which will allow us to use the mouse to grab objects and throw them around the world. So now let's take a listen to what the rigid body sounds like when we throw it around with the mouse. So we can hear the pitch change with the Y position of the body, and we can hear the X position change the left and right panning. 